Hey guys, coming at you with another video on this Monday night. Trying to be a little more consistent with my uploads. And today I wanted to kind of talk about a little bit of a relapse that I've had. Um, and, and just how much controlling your stress really deviates how the day is going to go, how your anxiety is going to play out. And I've noticed that my screen time has gone up. My, um, my workload obviously has gotten a little more stressful as the market's gotten a little more crazy. And then, you know, I, I put a lot of expectations on myself. I play a lot of golf, but at, I try to play at a very high level. And I, I had a really good year last year. And I've noticed this year, like I just, my expectations are even higher, which is unreal. And so I get disappointed when I don't play to those satisfaction. And, and that's good, obviously, have those high expectations, but it's frustrating, you know, it's frustrating because <laughs> I want to be at such a high level. I want to play at a different level. I want to perform. I want to do well at work. And I think all those expectations kind of hit me in the face. The stress of work, the stress of being on my phone so much and electronics and, and, and also just just, you know, general finances. I know a lot of people are struggling right now as well, financially, um, as as the markets kind of take a, a different turn. Um, and so I'm just trying to figure out how to budget, you know, budget a little bit better, um, you know, make a little bit more money, work a little overtime kind of thing. Um, and, you know, that all compounds. And I think I've, I've, as a few days ago, I read on my whoop, I mean, I had a heart rate variability of like, 11 the last two days in perspective my heart rate variability is typically 38 to 60 sometimes 70 or 80 on good days so i think <clears throat> i mean obviously it could be an illness but i don't i don't think i'm anywhere sick or anything like that so um but mental and physical fatigue is definitely something that's kind of taken its toll and you know, it's one of those ones where I'm, it's the anxiety where it's, it's not necessarily pain, but it's the, it's one of the worst. And that's that dire down feeling that feels like, like pre panic attack. Like I'm close, to, I'm on the brink of having a panic attack, but I'm not there yet. I'm able to control it, um, but I can feel it. And it just sits there for a while. And I went on a run earlier today and I feel a little bit better and I'm trying to get better sleep, but it's tough sometimes. It's just, it's not perfect. Like I've, I've, I've made massive strides, but I still succumb to certain things and I'm still trying to break out of certain habits, um, to make myself feel better, perform better and, and, and feel better on a daily basis. And it's just, it's amazing how difficult it is. It's so difficult to, um, to keep discipline. Um, I definitely still feel better. I still lifting weights, still to keeping making exercise and health a main priority, but there's still things that I could do a little bit better. I mean, I could eat just a little bit cleaner. I could work out just a little bit harder and I could really focus on, you know, stress relieving tactics that I've kind of pushed to the wayside lately. So, um, I would, I would encourage all of you, you know, the biggest thing with this over time is I've learned what it is. It's, it's anxiety. You know, they, they could be something else, you know, it could be a virus, it could be a virus that must not be named, and it just goes through my system differently. Um, but for the most part, it's it's anxiety induced, and it, it gets worse, I could tell when I think about it. So it, it's typically anxiety. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's really just taking a look at perspective, do I need to take pills? Is there something wrong with me? No, lifestyle change, there needs to be a lifestyle change, because I've got you get comfortable when you start feeling good and you start to relapse into things that are a little bit toxic and then you start making decisions and it's just, it turns out poorly. And then, um, you know, it's, it, it's annoying. You, you fall into that same trap and that trap is no fun. Um, and so really working on lifestyle choices. I mean, trying to eat cleaner. I'm trying to, um, uh, quinoa or kim kimchi that's what i'm taking to kind of sleep better i'm trying to really prioritize sleep um, and get that REM sleep in um, working out exercise 
all that jazz, really trying to stay active, really trying to do the same things that I've been doing, um, you know, enjoying myself more on the golf course, de-stressing throughout the day, whether that's meditation, Wim Hof breathing, um, taking long, warm showers. So changing it up. So hope you guys have a great day. Please like, comment, subscribe, and please reach out to me on Instagram, abill1994. You guys have a great day. Peace.